But what's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and in today's video has been a long awaited video, I'm here with my boy Johnny, he's gonna be helping me out, mainly because it's tough to do an exhaust on yes. your own. Yes it is, <laughs> it's <laughs> difficult. Shout out to Jonathan for making it down, he actually got some new wheels on his F30, you might be seeing it later today, right? Uh, when is your video dropping? Two days from now, so today, Friday, so... Maybe you guys will not see it. <laughs> Maybe you won't see it. <laughs> Maybe you won't see it. Maybe you will. We'll see how it goes. Depending on when it gets uploaded, I'll edit accordingly. Yes. But anyhow, um, we do have the Valvetronic Black Ops exhaust. And again, this is from Valvetronic exhaust. The thing I love about this exhaust, guys, this is an i8. I don't want a loud exhaust all the time. You know, like I like the fact that when I'm driving, maybe in like comfort or eco or even in hybrid, there's no sound whatsoever. It's a little bit of sound, nothing too crazy. But when I put it in sports mode, it's like as if it turned from a, like a, like a like a hybrid vehicle to like a full blown race car, which is what I want to hear. And this car, you guys know, has the looks. I've mod I did a lot of tasteful modifications to it, like a bunch of carbon all the way around. We got some wheels on the car. Um, you know, obviously we have the tints, stuff like that. But ultimately, we still don't have a functioning, good sounding exhaust. Now, this is actually basically the full exhaust, believe it or not. On the i8s, the muffler, the resonator, the cats, I believe it's all one piece, which is actually pretty crazy. So basically, you're gonna be unbolting it. Here's actually valve control right here and just bolting on this one i hope it's going to be just as e i hope it's easy i'm not really too sure haven't ever done any uh, i8 work before but uh, i guess we're gonna i guess we're gonna have to figure this out yeah <laughs> some crazy stuff here and i kind of wanted to bring back the og style so normally i would just take this down to showman or ssr performance or an exhaust shop and have them mount this on for me because it's just easy and i get to enjoy it right after but i was like you know what let's just go like the good old days like we just used to do things in our garage you know like i know this is an i8 but still like we can always do things from our garage at least i hope you know wish me luck guys um <laughs> so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it guys so i'm actually gonna be taking jonathan to the end of this block right here and he's just gonna pretty much get some drive-by clips of the car this is the before nothing's done to the exhaust whatsoever no modifications and there's no tune on the car so that's how it's gonna sound before and then hopefully we get the full babtronic exhaust on there should be a big difference so uh, especially when they have the off and on switch yeah. so we can literally turn it off and on so the off should honestly sound like the stock and then the on is gonna sound like a whole nother level so you're still gonna have the stock capabilities but at the same time still have the full loud exhaust when you want it to happen. So, uh, yeah, where do you want to? Go ahead and hop out right, right over here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, My Uber's here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Not too shabby. You can hear it for you sure. You can hear it? Yeah. A little bit, nothing crazy. Alright guys, so we have the car jacked up from the rear jacking point. Apparently there's only four jacking points on this car, which is next to all the wheels. So you have one jack stand over there holding it from the front. I lower down the jack onto the front one. We have this jack right here, and you have just a jack stand right there for worst comes to worst situations. But anywho, if you guys look over here. It's crazy about the i8 guys, literally everything is carbon from the chassis to the belly pans, everything is there. And you guys should cheese, the exhaust is right there. So it doesn't look too difficult, but we're gonna go ahead and just pretty much unbolt all this plastic stuff, just get this out of the way. Hopefully I don't have to remove my lip because it is held down by 3M. Uh, but let's go ahead and just remove as much plastic as we can just to access that exhaust more easily. <laughs> So at this point guys, uh, we do have the clamp pretty much loosened up. Yep, now that's 100% loose now. 
Uh, so at this point, guys, yeah, you, as you guys can see, this is loose. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, so I think the next couple things, if we actually look at the other exhaust. Oh, this is going to be on the bottom, bro. Yeah. Oh, I love the mounting position. That looks so good. So if you look at it, it sits something like this. So that's actually the bolt that we ended up loosening. So you're gonna have to retighten that once we get that in there. Uh, but there's so far, there's one mounting bracket here, here, and here. So we just need to find those, loosen up those three so we can slide that up in here. And it looks like there's a connection so we can't just drop the exhaust on the ground. But it doesn't look too bad, honestly. Cool. Full I8 exhaust, like. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> Bro, bro. After 12 years and 16 minutes, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Damn it, just, just drag it. Who cares? All right, moving in. Oh, that's oh. insane. That is just bazonkers, bro. We had to put this in comparison, dude. Bro, the size difference is ridiculous. I want you to like this, right? Yeah. <laughs> bro, bro, wow, that is just night and day. Yeah, that is crazy. Actually, crazy. And bro, this looks like it's gonna be 20 times easier to install. I am so excited to just install it, guys. Uh, actually, to be honest, I didn't think you were actually gonna be able to take that out. Honestly, so as you guys can see, everyone was saying that you take out these ones, and then this one, um, you just kind of you need to force it out. Well, I tried, guys. I tried forcing it out for two hours. I decided to shove a screwdriver in there, get in there, and just we got it. We got the two bolts out. So this is actually not easy, but I mean, I think with the lift, that should be a whole lot easier. Probably anything yeah. with the lift. Anything with the lift. Yeah. So anyhow, you know what that right means? Now, huh? You know what that means? We need a lift. We need a lift. <laughs> we need a shop. Uh, but yeah, at this point, guys, we're just gonna go ahead and just transfer all three of these over to that exhaust, and then just get that exhaust in there, and then we go ahead and mount that. Oh, we do need to mount the tips to it as well. Uh, but yeah, it should be pretty easy. I, I see no, I don't see why it should be hard at all. So let's go ahead and get into it. Guys, this is the next day. So before we actually show you guys the exhaust, everything's got per properly mounted. I ended up getting the wiring and everything sorted. I actually just ended up getting an extension cable. So I used the original um, Valvetronic, uh, like the original valve that comes on your original muffler. I just remounted that onto my new uh, exhaust system with Valvetronic. And then I just got an extension cable from Valvetronic so then I can use my original exhaust. I don't have to use a remote or anything. I literally just put the car in sport mode or eco mode. And when I put it in eco mode, it closes the valves. When I put it in sport mode, it opens the valves. So it's super, super, super cool. So such an OEM feel. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll show you guys that in a bit. But right now we are heading down to Sacramento. Hopefully gonna be getting our truck back. So uh, it's been a minute there at the body shop getting our quarter panel fixed, but I'm super excited to finally see this thing all put together. So let's go ahead and go pick it up. All right, guys, we are pulling up to pick up the truck. I am so excited. Let me go ahead and just talk to the man, the man, the myth, the legend, and go ahead and get this truck for you guys. Just made it home guys, and again guys, you guys will hear the sound of the exhaust in a minute, but we just got the F-150 back. As you guys can see, it has the FX4 off-road sticker here. We, off we obviously need to put that sticker back on the other side. I'm super happy that that is officially done with. Now we just gotta go get the truck fixed. Uh, I mean, uh, not fixed, it's fixed. Now we just need to get it cleaned up. This is what happens every time I get it back from the body shop. Oh, that's like the most annoying thing. Finally, we got the exhaust installed. Um, it came with the remote and everything, like I said, and uh, you can obviously wire it in where you can control it from a remote. I actually asked Fabtronic if I can get a cable that allow me to use a factory stuff. So when I put it in sport, the car automatically opens up the valves. And when I put it back to like eco or whatever, um, the valves close. So uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put it in sport real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. I actually took it out for a rip earlier this morning. I mean, me and my wife have been enjoying the exhaust all day. We've been driving this car all day. I think I put about 50 miles on it crazily. I, I don't normally do that, but uh, I don't know if you guys can hear, but we're in second gear right now. heard it watch this right here guys second I'm just gonna I'm, I'm not sure just gonna leave it in sport no paddles watch this so every time I let go it has like this sputter like I've never heard this in any other car before but you can actually get on the IA like this Woo! <laughs> that backfired <laughs> oh my god guys with the gas prices so crazy nowadays Literally just get a Vaptronic exhaust on an i8. It's a hybrid. It costs me $48 to fill this up. In comparison to the gas prices around here right now, it cost me $140 to fill up my truck on regular. And this on premium cost me $47 and uh, 48. $48, yeah, which is just, and, oh my God, this sounds so much better. And watch this guys, let's just say I'm tired of the exhaust. I wanna go like classy mode, you know what I mean? Like no more loud exhaust. It's in comfort mode. So we're going to floor it. No exhaust. Like, as if nothing's happening. This is in comfort, so the engine's still running, guys. And obviously, if I go ahead and click E-Drive, oh. Okay. <laughs> and if I go ahead and click E-Drive, obviously, this is gonna be full electric at this point, and obviously, there's gonna be no exhaust notes. But, um, guys, that's absolutely insane. I mean, I, I cannot, I mean, Valtronic told me you should probably even go catless. And I was like thinking, ah, I don't wanna go catless on an i8. But this is like, the sounds I'm getting from this car, let's go back and put it in sport. Let's have some fun. Uh, hold up. Woo! Buddy! <laughs> oh man, the sounds you get with this car, it's not even, it's not even countless. Like it just sounds so good. Like I don't, guys, I, I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm going to do a drive-by clip right now for you guys because I've never heard a car that sounds like this and it actually sounds really good. Like it's not a loud sound and then some sputters. It's literally just like an aggressive sound than like a sputtery sound. I'm not explaining to you guys. But it sounds very clean. It's very, yeah, it's like very a, clean. It has a clean finish. I love it. I absolutely love it. Like, <laughs> oh. I'm talking as if I know. No, but, but no, I'm, that's exactly what I mean. Like it's so clean and it's not obnoxious. Yeah. It's a full exhaust, but it's not obnoxious. And it was super easy to install. I didn't even need to take it to a shop. Like. Hello, handsome. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Good. I'm just gonna have to pause for a minute guys and just enjoy Pyology's pizza. If you guys ever get to California, I don't know if they have Pyology anywhere else guys, but their pizza is amazing. I know this is random, but who doesn't love food? And this is the third day. So yeah, it took a couple days to film this for you guys, mainly because, I mean, I've been trying to get two things situated at the exact same time. Obviously you guys heard the I-8 exhaust, which sounds absolutely insane. And then obviously we got back the truck. It's been a minute since we had the truck. We had to send it off to the paint shop to get that quarter panel fixed repaint it we got the fresh new decal and i'm gonna show you guys that in a minute but meantime guys i don't know what do you guys think about the i8 after hearing the exhaust so now this thing from just a click of a button when you put it in sport it sounds so much better as you guys know we put the carbon fiber lip we put the carbon fiber side skirts also hooked up the charger now so i'm actually charging this bad boy in the garage we have the led carbon fiber steering wheel inside we did apple carplay again carbon fiber side skirts we did wheels 
carbon fiber spoiler, and now we also have the exhaust that sounds super good. On YouTube right now, a lot of you guys are saying, hey, no, you should probably just sell the i8. There's no point in having the i8. Honestly, I really, really enjoy this car. I really love this car, and it's kind of like, it's really hard for me just kind of to let go of it. Obviously, this is my first exotic car I've ever owned, and at the same time, it's just literally been no headaches. Like, it's the easiest car to take out of here. Super, super, super good in fuel economy. Super enjoyable to drive. Now it actually sounds super good. So there is many reasons why I want to keep this car. Literally, guys, I think this is the most reliable car and the most fuel efficient car and lowest to maintain car that I own. Believe it or not, like it's it's insane. And I think that's what BMW was trying to aim at with the i8. It is not a V8 Screamer, V10, you know, supercharged or anything crazy like that. But it is a turbocharged engine with a hybrid battery. Like it's pretty crazy. Again, I, I feel like this technology is before its time. The i8s definitely came out before its time. And I'm actually seeing these go up in value. So I can either sell it right now and just get another build, or I can hold on to it and hope to God it will keep going up in value and I get to just keep enjoying it. Because like nothing's better than keeping a car that doesn't depreciate and enjoying it and putting miles on it. And at the same time, like I said, like you're, you're, the value is staying at the same because of appreciation. And at the same time, you're depreciating by putting the miles on it. So it's kind of just staying at the same level, but you get to enjoy a car if you know what I mean. So let me know down below guys, because honestly I'm leaving Toe is still keeping it. The exhaust honestly made me come down to that conclusion. So for those of you guys who have an i8 and you're thinking, I don't know, is it worth it? It honestly really changes the entire car, guys. Like when you want it to be quiet, it'll be quiet. And when you want to truly enjoy it, you can literally truly enjoy it. And the exhaust sounds so good. And you can finally like, you know, when you're going out with other exotic cars, it just sounds super, super, super good. And it just fits in. So I absolutely love it. But yeah, before I conclude the video, guys, do you guys remember that I bought this truck with this side pretty much hit? Like this whole quarter panel was dented in. I I actually got the FX4 sticker on there. This sticker cost me $70, so that was absolutely insane, but it is what it is. So this quarter panel is repaired, painted, everything's good to go. We got the new wheel and the new suspension. So this truck's 100% solid now. So absolutely happy with this truck, happy to have it back. And the M3 is just chilling like a villain. We have so many mods in for this car right now, guys. We got the 600 horsepower kit from Burger Tuning, and then we also got a bunch of carbon fiber, a bunch of interior modifications, a bunch of external modifications, GTS whole body kit for the M3. Three. So all that stuff's coming in. Your boy did go full send on it just because I know you guys really, really, really want to see the M3 build. So I said, you know what? Let me go and full send that build. So without further ado, guys, let me know down below. Did this exhaust surprise you guys? Did you guys think an i8 can sound like this? I think it sounds super good. Let me know down below, guys. Obviously, on camera, it doesn't justify it. Then in person, like in person is a different experience. Uh, but I think on camera, you guys did hear the sputtering sound. It is a buttload louder, so it sounds absolutely amazing. I'm currently making the M3 plaques. You guys saw this is the M4 one. I'm making the M3 one for everyone that supported the build. That one is cut off, and I believe that the keychains are already officially sold out for the M3. So shout out to everyone that participated in that. You guys' name is going to be right here, featured right next to the M4 plaque. And I'm actually going to be making an i8 plaque just because, honestly, guys, this car has been my biggest and most expensive build, absolutely. But at the same time, it's truly something that I absolutely enjoy and I want to make a plaque on it. So I'm going to have an i8 plaque over here. We do have i8 air fresheners and an i8 keychain. So if you guys want to cop that to support the channel, make sure you check out that first link down below. Yes, we will shout it out in the next video. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.